Hello everyone, this is Rochelle and today I want to share with you some of my spring fragrances. Okay, so these are some of my favorite fragrances for the springtime. I just said that. It's been a while, okay? I know it's been a while. Hey, I hope y'all are doing great. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all of that. But again, these are in no order, just spring fragrances. I am still pulling triggers all over the place, still blind, blind buying all over the place. And I'll just sell stuff if I don't like it. But anyway. Let's just get into it, okay? Because I'm super happy to talk about this stuff with you. First, I want to talk to you about Brie Dior. This is a beautiful scent. I've had this one since mm, October of last year, and I couldn't make it work for me then. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love this smell. But I couldn't make it work. I didn't think, okay, this is maybe a spring or a summer scent. Um, so what I was doing is I would spray it after a bath, after a nightly bath or a nightly shower, sleep like a baby. Okay, it is a beautifully dry, oak mossy scent. I think that's called a sheep or sheep. I don't know. But I think it's called something like that. It is so stunning to me. I love this fragrance, okay? Um, I think this is unisex and this was an inexpensive bottle. I mean, you know, so you can get this bottle right here for about $100 unless they've gone up. I love it. Worth every single solitary dime. They have the bigger bottles too and I think I need to get one. It's a beautiful fragrance. Um, this is what I imagine Parisians smelling like. Like, I've never been to Paris. I don't know any Parisians, but I don't know. I just feel like it's like that type of scent. Something like that. Like they would wear it's like distinct, a little powdery. It's got the little earthy oak moss thing going. And it's just, it's just under the radar, but it's beautiful when you get up close. It's not a projection beast to me, but it is such a lovely fragrance. I adore this. Perfect for spring, okay? Christian Dior's Gris Dior, check this one out. Next one I want to talk to you about is by Maison Francis Kirk John, and this is Gentle Fluidity Gold. Had this one for a few months. I've been wanting to try this for so long, okay? This is the epitome of femininity to me. This is like the most feminine, just this, like I would probably wear something like this on, on a wedding, on my wedding day. I mean, it's just so feminine and just romantic. Like, that's what I get when I smell this. That's what I get. And it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. And it's like, I don't know, that's not romantic, but it's like cold. It's like really cool. It's like a, some f effect in there. It makes it really, I don't know, icy. <laughs> oh, no. That's why I don't know what I'm trying to explain. But anyway, it is beautiful. It's kind of like a, a super light vanilla. It's some type of so a light fruit might be in here making it sweet. I'm not sure. I'm not doing well with these um, descriptions. I'm not one of those people. I already told you that. Okay, but I'm telling you this is a beautiful scent. Check this. I'll get a sample, but check it out. I feel like most women would like this. Um, if you like, so if you you know want to smell feminine, I feel like you would love this. This is a, I adore this fragrance. Adore. Check that one out. This one is Bald Dufric. Bald Dufric. Okay, and this is by Byredo. I'm starting to love Byredo. This is my first Byredo fragrance, and um, this was a. <laughs> okay. When I smelled this, I thought it was the most one of the most beautiful scents that I'd ever smelled. Okay, I was like, oh, this is so beautiful. And then I smelled it again, and I didn't like it. I was like, okay, I'm bored. And I put it down. And then months later, when months passed by, and I picked it up again, I was like, what the hell is I talking about? This is really good. And bought it. Okay, and then smelled it again. I was like, what the hell? I don't like this. Put it down. One day I couldn't find anything to wear, and I was like, okay, nothing really fits the vibe I got today. And I smelled this, and I was like, huh, this is. Perfect, and I've been wearing it ever since. It's like this is a signature scent worthy to me. This is I would call this a signature scent right now. This is I wear this a lot. Um, this is a beautiful green, earthy, soft, comforting type scent. Um, but it, there's some floral elements in there, but it's not like a it, they're, they're like a sweeter floral elements and then there's like this kind of grassiness to it it's just a it's a perfect scent I, I feel like this is a signature scent like this to me it's just um for me it just smells like me <laughs> weirdly enough I didn't know that I would find that but it just smells like me like some things you just like to wear a lot 
and then some things just smell like that's what you should be smelling like. <laughs> Doesn't make sense anyway. That's this. This smells like something a school teacher will wear, like an elementary school teacher will wear. Kind of, but I'm saying it's like perfect for a teacher. If you're a teacher, you would love this. I'm just saying. It's it's just a, you, you've got to get your nose on it if you don't know about it. I love this for this rabbit I've wearing the hell out of that fragrance. So there's that. I'm um, trying to go quick. Okay, this one I totally did dirty in the last video because I couldn't smell it, right? Sprayed it on my husband right before I was supposed to buy the little um, decant, the little atomizers to sell it. And I was like... Let me just try it one more time. So I just sprayed him. And when I tell you this fragrance came alive on this man, I was like, damn, you smell good. Is, is that what that smells like? And I sniffed it again and sprayed it on me. And all of a sudden, I could smell everything. It is a super bright, juicy raspberry. It is so freaking good. They knew what they was talking about. I guess my nose, it just took a while for it to get it. I don't know. It did. Um, and I think it had a lot to do with there's like a prickliness to this fragrance too. It's like like soda bubbles kind of how it how it kind of spreads and that's all I was getting. It was just like odd. It was like this ozonic kind of thing that I and that's all I really got. I didn't get any raspberry or anything. But anyway, it's raspberry and caramel. Those are the main things that I smell. And that raspberry is so bright, but then it's like bright and then that caramel it's like, it's warm and rich and it just follows the scent if it, it stays for the life of the scent. It's not one of those things you spray it and then it's, you get a hit of it first 30 minutes maybe and it's gone. No, it's like the life of the scent. It just bounces it. It bounces the brightness or it goes together with the brightness of the raspberry. I don't know if I'm explaining this right. Like I said, I'm not one of those people, okay? I'm trying to be not like that. But, you know, I'm trying to do it right. But I'm telling you, it's beautiful. It's bright and deep all at the same time. This projection beast. I never get sick of smelling this. Worth every dime. Check this out. Byron Parfums uh, Moolah Moolah. Um, I had the extreme version, too. But... Um, in my opinion, don't, that messes it up. <laughs> Just get this. <laughs> get this dance. It's good. Okay, so check that one out. Alright, next one I want to share with you. This is Ani by Nishane. This is gingery spicy goodness. It is so freaking delicious smelling. Oh my, it's so spicy. It's like, mm, it just makes you do like that. It smells so good to me. It's kind of sexy a little bit. And then almost like in the back, like, um, you know those marshmallow pie cakes, moon pies? I can't stand those pies. Anyway, but it's that marshmallow. It's not like marshmallow, marshmallow, but it's like, it's like a soft, kind of cloudy marshmallow thing to me. That's what I get from this. That's what I get. And it's like, it just rounds it out real nice so that that, um, ginger isn't so spicy and so in your face. And then there's vanilla in the back. It is so pretty. Projection beast. I promise you only need a little bit of this. I sprayed this once and went to bed. I'm telling you, days later, it's still on my sheets. Don't spray this on your clothes. <laughs> I mean, unless this is what you want to do for the rest of the week. Pow powerful fragrance. I think, I don't know. I feel like this, I don't know if this is blind by worthy. I really don't know. Um, but check it out. It's, it's, and the reason I say that, I think, because I hear that some people just don't like it. I love this. This smells really good. Um, but I like spicy scents too. So maybe that's why. I don't know. But it's a little spicy. But it's still got. It's still soft. And then the vanilla carries it. And it's strong as hell. So anyway, I love that fragrance. Check that one out. See, I'm doing them fast. I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, and yeah, nine minutes. Pretty good. Pretty good for me. Okay, this is one of my favorite scents right here oh i love all of these really i can't even i love them all this one though like oh my when i smelled this i lost my mind i was like oh my gosh yes yes tiziana terenzi okay this is called deluxe or deluxe by tiziana terenzi and this is the most beautiful rose coffee honey fragrance ever um hold on oh my it's so smooth. I just think black satiny sheets. <laughs> it just 
throw some roses on it, drizzle some honey. It sounds like a whole situation. I'm telling you, this is a beautiful scent. I love this. Heard that it was supposed to be like Intense Cafe. I love this so much. I just went and got the sample of Intense Cafe because I want to see what that smells like. Like really, that's how much I love this. I, I, want, I want all varieties because I really identify with this. Um, so I did smell Intense Cafe. I got this little kit here. Oh, um, pick this up. And it's got all, oh my gosh, got a lot of purposes in there. Um, but yeah, it, if you want to know, in my opinion, Intense Cafe, to me, equally is beautiful. I'm, they smell exactly the same. Except Intense Cafe, to me, seems like the rose is brighter. It's still a beautiful rose. But it's a little bit brighter in this one, in, in Intense Cafe. And in this one, I feel like the coffee comes out a little bit more. And it's a little bit drier. Not, not overly dry, but just it, in comparison to that one. So that's, I feel like Intense Cafe is just a little bit brighter, but this is, oh my, I don't, I don't know. I can't tell. They're both, e they're both equally good, equally delicious smelling fragrances. Just smell it. Tell me what you think. <laughs> I love this, okay? This is up there with my boo thing, okay? Might as well just talk about her again. She in this list. Oh, this fun. She in there? Okay, actually, this could be my this could be my fragrance of the day. This goes perfectly with my little outfit today, I feel like. It is the vibe. Okay, I might, yeah, but I don't want to spray it because then I, I don't know, I won't be able to smell the rest of them. But Oud Ispahan, I've spoken to you guys about this before. It's one of my favorite scents. This is a um, Oud Rose. Apparently, that is a typical combo. I didn't know, but I don't care. This is beautiful. I love this. Okay, one of my favorites, again. Um, and it's like this beautiful, juicy, velvety situation. It's like rose and oud, but it's blended with like, I keep saying velvet. It's just done so, it's like textured and smooth. I don't know how else to describe it. And sexy as hell. And it's a little musky maybe, it's a little bit. I adore this. I adore this fragrance. I don't know. I check it out. It it's a little um I don't know. I won't say it's overpowering or, or strong, but this is like um like boss B vibes here. To me. Okay. Like I said, when I wear this, I feel super sexy, super confident, super strong. Okay. That's what this makes me feel like. Okay, it's just like what? I said in a video. That's what that makes me feel like, <laughs> but it's still feminine and soft, and I think a man could, I think a man could pull that off too. I mean, it's it's one of my favorite scents, okay. And the same thing as that. Let's just keep rolling. Creed uh, for her, um, Creed Aventus for her. Let's go ahead and add this to the list. It is a beautiful scent. I've spoken to you guys, spoken to you guys about this one before. It is a fruity, woody, musky scent to me. It's like um, Granny Smith apples, lemons. And some type of really nice smelling wood. <laughs> and to me, musk. I don't know if that's in there, but that's what I smell. Mmm. Worth every freaking dime. I told y'all I was going to try to maybe take this back and get the bigger bottle and save up. I'm still not making a dent in this. Um, this is a powerful, powerful scent. So you don't need a lot of this at all. I'm just going to keep what I have. It's fine. It's fine. Um, anyway, love that scent. Highly recommend that for the spring as well. Um, I love that fragrance, okay? Another one I want to talk to you about. I've had this one since December, I think. And this is... Can you wear this in the warmer months? I don't know. This is Armani Privé's Rouge Malachite. I was looking for a tuberose scent. Um, and I had smelled some other tuberose scents. I was like, oh my God, no, I don't like tuberose. Because I was not like it's a, a lot of this stuff that I was smelling. I think it was just the particular, like, uh, the reason I said that I like tuberose, okay, was because um, there's a fragrance I, I have worn for the past, uh, in the early 2000s, for like 10 years straight, okay, and it was called, I have the box, there it is, there, I keep it, because I just wonder if I'm ever going to find another one in the old batch, or the old version, and it's Michael, and I saw on, um, it's a Sebastian Smelling Love and Fragrance or something like that, his channel. He was a fan of this. So I was like, oh my gosh, you like the same stuff. 
Anyway, not all of it, but you know, this was a signature uh, scent of mine. This is called Michael by Michael Kors. This is the old one, okay? From the 99 to 2000s. Okay, the older one. Beast of the fragrance. Okay, this is, ooh. So anyway, I love this fragrance. So that's what, that's what, that's how I knew that I love tube rose. Okay, it's just a rich, is it amber in there? I don't know. It's a beautiful freaking fragrance. That's a beast of a fragrance. Anyway, the new one, I have a new one too. I got it a couple years ago. And I get it. It's more modern, more light, and it's just not as heavy as that. But well, it's still nice too. But it's the other one. It's just, it's no, the depth in that one it was insane. So I hold on to that bottle in hopes that I can compare when I look at stuff and see if I can find, you know, a similar, um, find a batch of that fragrance. Um, and I can compare the, you know, the bottle and everything and see if it's that one. If I make any sense. You get what I'm saying. I keep it for that reason. You can still smell it too. It doesn't smell. The fragrance I want to talk to you about is this one. This is called Armani Privé's uh, Rouge Malachite. Very nice. Green tuberose. It's like a green, rich tuberose scent. It is. Now this is perfectly done. I smelled another one. I think it was called Fracas. And oh, that was too much for me. I was like, I didn't know tuberose came like this. And it was another one I smelled. Okay, so anyway. Point is, this is the type of two bros I like. Like I can't have too much of it. Not like that. But oh, it is incredible. It smells so freaking good to me. That's all. It's a. It's a it, it, there's this clary sage note in there. It's like a dry herby, kind of herbally kind of scent in here that uh, stops you from being too sweet, too rich. And it is perfect. It breaks the scent up so perfectly or gives it that unexpected kind of um, like oh what is that it makes it more interesting is what I'm trying to say and that's what's in here and there's this rich jasmine -y scent in there jasmine is probably what's in here and then tuberose but it smells so opulent that's the perfect word for this opulent that's yeah Check this out if you don't know. I love this fragrance. This is one of my favorites, and I think it's a great one for spring as well. Another one I want to talk to you about. This one, should I say this one for last? No, I'm gonna add it in here. This one I just got. Oh, we just got it. I want to shout out um AI the Great. Okay, that's where I learned about this. I was stumbling on videos and watching. I saw her. I was like, oh my gosh, she's so bubbly. Let me see what she's talking about. And she had mentioned this. There's another one I want to try too. But anyway, yes. This is... Oh, this... Oh, that smells so good. I don't even know where to start. Okay. This is uh, Greenwich Village by Bond Number no. 9. My first Bond Number no. 9 scent. I never went for these scents because I would see them in Marshalls. And I would just figure it must not be about nothing. It's at Marshalls, but that is so untrue. I love the way this fragrance is done. It is so pretty and interesting and sexy and other than. I love the other than vibe, okay? This is a, oh my goodness, I don't know what's in here. I, I'm going to try. I know Cassis, I think it's like a peachy kind of, it's this really pretty, fruity, sugary, Scent, I don't know what's in here. Get a sample, okay? I, I think most women would love this. When you first spray it, it smells a little bit like Baccarat Rouge. That, that um, cotton candy kind of thing. But it's not. It's so much more. Um, we need to be talking about this brand. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe we are. I'm just not on it. But this is good. There's another one that I want to put my nose on. There's a few of them I'm going to put my nose on. But there's another one. It's in the cart, <laughs> but this is this is damaging. So I gotta slow down a little bit. But this is a look at the packaging, the color. It is so. It's not the camera's not doing it justice. I toned everything down because it was too much light. It is so bright and rich. Oh my! I love this. I just smell me all day when I put this on. I'm telling you, I'm just. It just radiates off of me the scent, and it's just so nice and fruity and light and it's different and other than when I pass people they smell me and they they don't usually people don't ask me anything they just look at me I don't know what I'm giving off but people don't really say nothing to me they just 
Mm -hmm. But I know they smell me, I can tell. And there's certain looks I get with certain perfumes that I wear. But anyway, they want to know what this is. Okay, trust. Um, I'll tell you. But they don't never ask. They just look. Um, and then look at each other. <laughs> but I'm telling you, get this dance. All right? Get this one. This is, uh, well, no. This is a little pricey. Get some samples first and see. Okay, and then you probably want to get this. I'm telling you, it is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I love that. The other one's in the car. You will make me buy it today. You ain't do that, but you gonna make me buy. I'm happy to get the other one. <laughs> anyway, okay. All right, another one I want to talk to you about is this. This actually was a gift from my children for Christmas. But perfect for the spring. It's perfect for. I mean, I wore it in the winter too, but I think it's kind of light. So spring, I would wear this in the summer. I don't. I love. I love chocolate, so I would always wear it. I don't care what season it is. But this is the prettiest interpretation of chocolate in a perfume that I have ever smelled. This is Elixir Charnel by Guerlain and it's Gourmand Coquin is what it's called. So freaking beautiful. It's a beautifully a blended fragrance. One thing I want to say though, it's not just this one. You see right here, this is supposed to be silver, okay? And I'm not, this is, I, this is one of my favorites too, but I just want to show you. Oh, I fixed this one. You see how that's, you see how right there, that is, this gold, okay? This right here is supposed to be silver. And it's in here, and I can't get it out. If anybody out there knows how to get this outside, no, I don't know. But if anyone out here knows how to get this out, please let me know, okay? Because it just sits like that, and I cannot stand it. I feel like I'm opening these bottles wrong. But anyway, excuse me. Oh, my dog is barking. I'm not sure why. Okay. All right, so anyway, this is a beautifully done chocolate boozy scent. But it's it just smells like you smell like chocolate. It's not like chocolate, a chocolate smell on you. It's like it, it just blends with you. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just like you just smell like this. <laughs> okay, so I guess... Not signature scent. I don't want to call it a signature scent. This is just a beautiful thing. I'm telling you, you have to wear it to see what I'm talking about. It's not like, you know, you have your perfume on, you have a scent on. When you spray this, it's like you become it. It's like that. It just sinks in. You just smell it off of you, and it smells so good. Not really a projection beast and all like that, but you will enjoy smelling this on you. I love it. Highly recommend it. There's another one I want to try from this brand. I have, um... So much I want to talk to you about. I have this one, but there's so much I want to talk to you about. But there's another one. It was called um, Fatal something, uh, something, and I think it's gonna put me in the mindset of Brie Dior, something like that. But I want to try that. Have y'all tried that? Let me know if that's worth it, because it's hard to get a sample of that. But I really want to try that one out. Anyway, another one I want to talk to you about, and I think we are going to be. Oh, I've got two more, and I think that'll do it. I think it'll do it because I'm running out of time. Yes, real quick. Um, Chanel's, uh, Paris Biritz, Biritz, okay, beautiful fragrance, juicy, oh, I love it, it's like a juicy, uh, tangerine lemon scent, so I guess citrus scent, it smells so good to me, it, you just have to put your nose on it, I feel like, this is a lot this is a lighter scent. So for those of you who like those lighter scents, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. Okay. 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 No, not really. But I guess it's kind of in the vein of Bald Afrique. Bald Afrique? How you say it? It's kind of in the vein of that kind of vibe. But it's a it's a light, watery, tangerine lemon kind of scent. It smells really good to me. I think vanilla's in here. I feel like vanilla could be in here. It's it's a little it's a little bit of sweetness in it, but it's 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 watery and just citrusy. It's very subtle, but it smells really good to me. I really like this. So you know, check this out if it's something you're interested in. And last but not least, we have it was a toss-up, so I didn't know how to do it, but I'm gonna go with the lean exclusive. Okay, I'm gonna go with the lean exclusive. I wasn't sure whether it's gonna be. Oh, that smells so good. Delina or Delina exclusive. Delina to me, I have that one too. It's here. 
um, right there. But that's it's brighter. That's probably oh God, what is this? that bottle keeps falling. Does anyone else's bottle? It's only that one. This one doesn't fall like that, but this one stays falling. Anyway, Delina, the original Delina, is just it's brighter, um, more tart, um, crisper, a little bit younger to me when I smelled that. And I was like, okay, I didn't, honestly, I didn't like it. I just thought it was just too young for me. Um, and so then I bought this. I liked it, but I didn't love it. And this, I really like. It's like a, a more creamier, rich, more sensual type of vibe here to me. But it still has that beautiful rose in it. Um, there's some sweetness. I don't know where that's coming from. Is it vanilla? I don't know. It's like a creamy. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. Almost marshmallowy vanilla. I don't know. I really like this. I like this a lot. And if you layer them together, because that's what I, I was trying to compare them, they smell incredible. But that's a lot to just be layering. I mean, I don't know. So I feel like I need to sell one of these. Also, also. So anyway, love this scent. Check this out last. I mean, when I wear it, it's just it's just coming off of me. It's just, I, I just smell it. I just enjoy it. Whiffs of this on my jean jacket. Every time I wear it, I just get whiffs of this. I love this. Okay, lasts a long time. Really, I recommend that. I mean, for me, I like. I know most people like the original version, but I like the exclusive version too. But I want to say something really quick. Honorable mention. Found this. This is called Irresistible by Givenchy. Found it at Nordstrom. Uh, to me, this is an inexpensive version of the Lean Exclusive. Okay, um, but just a little bit brighter. And it's got pear in it. And if you love pear, I do. I have this Louis Vuitton uh, pear scent I've been wearing for the uh, past couple years. What is it called? Vuitton something? Anyway, I love that one. But it still didn't quite give me everything I needed. I mean, I like it. I had the ball engraved and everything. thought I was doing something. <laughs> anyway, love this. Check this out, okay? This is, again, Irresistible by Givenchy. Half the price. Even you can get a smaller bottle for $67. And it smells just like Delina exclusive to me, except it's got more, it's got pear in it. I don't know if that has pear in it. This clearly is so juicy and fruity and bright, but still warm and sensual too. Check that, a little sweet, but check this out. I love smelling this on me. I probably should have put this in before the Delina exclusive. I feel like I wear this more. So yeah, I think I am. <laughs> but yeah, check this out. Tell me what you think. I really like that. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I hope you have enjoyed the time with me um, and enjoy my little selections for spring. I have more. <laughs> so anyway, as soon as I can, I will get back to you with um, some favorites maybe. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see. Um, it's a pleasure to make this video for y'all and I'll see you super soon on the next one. Until then, y'all take care, okay? Bye.